Jerry Mallory here for SB Nation and PrideDetroit.com. Day two of the NFL draft is over, and I'll be honest, the Lions' two picks, if I could sum it up, it had all the cinematic goodness of a suspense thriller. The first pick was Darius Slay. Now, when I first heard this pick, my initial reaction was I didn't like him there. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, I like his size. I like his speed. And you can never have enough cornerbacks. But to me, there were other players on the board, especially addressing the offensive line. I thought that was a bigger need. The more I thought about it, though, I started to warm up to this pick. Granted, we drafted three rookies last year that play in the secondary, Greenwood, Green, and Bentley. But you can never have enough cornerbacks. If we've learned anything as Detroit Lions fans, is this is one of the positions that gets banged up the most, particularly uh, if you are a Detroit Lions player. For some reason, our secondary just can't stay healthy. Also, you're facing tons of receivers. We know the NFC North is full of them. Your Jordy Nelsons, your Brandon Marshalls, uh, Greg Jennings now staying in the NFC North. So another cornerback in the fray was not necessarily a bad thing. But that suspense thriller turned for the better when round three came and they picked the guy that many of us thought we should have drafted in round two. And that's Larry Warford. This, this guy is huge. He's as big as a bus, a hotel, or any other a large inanimate object that people like to compare large humans to. He's that. He's going to step right in. And most of all, he replaces Steven Peterman. How long have I been and all of us been talking about Steven Peterman? How bad he is and how he needs to be replaced. Well, he was already cut. We knew his replacement was coming. We weren't sure where it was going to come from. It comes in the draft by way of Larry Warford. I'm telling you, watch an old Lions game. Any of them, you pick. And you're going to see Matthew Stafford with that sidearm. And primarily it's because he's not able to step up in the pocket. So many times because of Rayola and it was Peterman, the pocket was compromised. Uh, Stafford was not able to step into his throw. So we see the sidearm. We see the bad releases. You shore up that interior with a guy like Warford. Uh, you know, Rayola is still there. Maybe his replacement is coming later in the draft or next year. But uh, the two main culprits, I think, uh, in some of Stafford's bad mechanics was our center and our right guard. So you bring in Larry Warford and that suspense thriller. Uh, you weren't sure how it was going to turn out. It's perfect. I mean, and when I think about it, it's almost as if uh, Larry Warford was your, was your second round pick and Darius Slade was your third rounder. At the end of the day, uh, round two, round three is in the books. We got two picks. We got a guard, one of the higher rated guards on the board. He slipped. And then you have a guy in Darius Slay. You add him with all the young cornerbacks that we have. They'll duke it out to see who will be uh, lining up next to one Chris Houston. And this guy has size. Like we said, six feet and speed. I'm happy. Not going to do grades. I don't like that. Number one, I'm not a teacher. Number two, I'm not a prognosticator. I'll just tell you if I like a pick, if I don't like it. Like yesterday, I said I was worried about the anti pick. Don't mean I don't like it. Just worried. I'm less worried about this pick. I feel more confident in these two picks, I should say, addressing a need, getting depth in the secondary, and having more protection for Stafford, and maybe a lane or two for our running backs. All right, guys, that's going to do it. We'll be back uh, in a day or so, wrapping up the rest of the draft. Uh, if you go on SB Nation's main YouTube channel, you'll see me talking about Ezekiel Ansai, why I'm worried about him. I'm sure you've seen that one already. Leave your comments, thoughts, concerns, and all those good things that you do. If you haven't subscribed, go subscribe. Until next time, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. This has been Jerry Mallory, as always, for SB Nation and PrideDetroit.com.